Welcome all. My name is Dan, 519 Customs. So we're just in the planning and design stages of the next couple of EVs coming through the shop. And we just took delivery of our donor vehicle. Uh, so what we got was a salvage title 2022 Tesla Model Y dual motor. This comes to us directly from Texas. And we look specifically for this one because it has the brand new cast aluminum front and rear substructures, but more importantly, the 4680 structural battery pack. So our plan with this is we are going to remove the battery pack and we are going to um, dig right into the individual cells to see if we can repurpose those into a more manageable pack size that fits the landscape of the chassis we will be designing. I'm going to document the process of us getting into the battery pack. I do want to stress um, that you shouldn't be doing this. This is um, a peak voltage of around 400 volts DC. It is very dangerous. I highly recommend that you do not do any of this, that you they leave the high voltage pack alone. That being said, um, it should be a pretty fascinating process for us to get into it and see how this one is manufactured differently from the Model 3 cells that we've got into in the past. Uh, so I did mention this was a salvage title uh, Model Y. Um, this was involved in a front end collision. So in that front end collision, it actually broke a piece of the cast substructure. So those su new substructures are made with the super cool GigaPress. Uh, it's about 6,000 ton process. It uh, die cast those in about one second flat. So really, really neat process. If you haven't seen it, have a look at it. Um, it's very interesting. In the accident, this broke piece of that cast off. We're fortunate enough to have that piece that broke off. It was attached to something else. See if I can attempt to weld this cast back together. Now, um, this Tesla developed their own alloy for this. I believe it's called a uh, 386 alloy. So it is a mixture of something like 89, 89 and uh, aluminum with about 11 other different elements um, to make it flow in the casting process. So I'm going to take a stab at seeing how well it welds. If this is something that can be repaired in an accident or once that cast member is broken, if it's just not worth repairing the car at that stage we aren't going to be using all of these cells, these 4680 cells that we take out of the battery pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to break them all out of the battery pack and we will be offering them for sale. So if anybody watching along wants to purchase a 4680 battery cell, any that we do not use for our own purposes, we will be offering those for sale to the public. Um, I will provide links for, uh, when we get to that point. Make sure you follow and uh, we'll try to at least keep it entertaining.